Hello friends, this video on thermodynamics part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 19. The bond enthalpy now. We already know that the energy is required to break a bond and energy is released when the bond is formed. Right? And uh, with respect to the chemical reaction, there are two types of uh, terms we use. One is the bond dissociation enthalpy and the mean bond enthalpy. We'll talk about both these things. Well, let's talk about the first part, bond dissociation enthalpy. So for diatomic molecule, for example, hydrogen, chlorine, oxygen, when you break the, uh, this is a molecule, molecule to atom, this guy is atom, molecule to atoms, there's an energy released, uh, when you break it, you need some energy actually, you need some energy. That is nothing but the bond dissociation enthalpy. But in some case, for example, in polyatomic molecules, CH4, if you break the CH4 molecule to form these uh, atoms, carbon and four hydrogen atoms, you see that the first one it becomes CS3 plus H, one hydrogen out. And then from CS3, you get CH2 and two hydrogen. And then from CH2, you get uh, CH and 3 hydrogen and from CH you get C and 4 hydrogen. So in all these equations, the delta H is not same. The delta H will be X, Y, Z, A, all are different actually. So this needs less energy, this needs more energy, all the more, all the more. So what we do is we find the mean of that. The total is, let's suppose, this value and you want to find the uh, mean bond enthalpy, you divide this by 4 because there are 4 uh, bonds here. So whatever you get here, 4, six, yeah. this is the mean bond enthalpy. Example this is the methane molecule, right? You want to break the, you break the first bond, you need less energy. You want to break the second bond, you need all the more energy. Third bond, all the more. Fourth bond, all the more energy required. So in that case, we do a mean of uh, all the energy required. And then you divide by, uh, this is what you get, that is mean bond enthalpy. Right? Bond dissociation enthalpy is generally used for diatomic molecules where uh, the values are same actually, they are same. Only two molecules, we have to break only one bond. So the values, there is no question of taking mean, but in case of polyatomic molecule, you have to take mean. So you, you have this term called mean bond enthalpy. There is something called lattice enthalpy also. So bond enthalpy, I told is something uh, we have, let's suppose, water. We talk about the bond between these two, right? Hydrogen, oxygen, and this. Lattice is something for ionic compound. And as I told uh, that everyone, the molecules, atoms, they want to reduce the energy. And it is found that in the lattice form, the energy is less. So uh, for example, sodium chloride, we want will always form this lattice structure because the energy is less and they want to increase the energy, they'll form this uh, lattice structure. Since the energy is less in the lattice structure, if you want to take out uh, the atoms from this lattice, you have to provide some energy, right? And that enthalpy is lattice enthalpy, is nothing but the enthalpy change required when one mole of ionic compound is removed from this uh, lattice to gaseous state. You take out this and put it in some infinite distance, you take out the green one, big one, infinite distance, that is nothing but my lattice enthalpy. Right? Because to form lattice, I mean, it, it emits energy. Why? Because the lattice is a stable state. Stable state, it has less energy, the lattice from which this is the thing we have explained in the last chapter. If you don't understand this, you can watch the last chapter video where we have explained uh, these, these things, states of matter, I think. So the example was, I have this NaCl in lattice form, you want to break the sodium and chlorine uh, in the uh, ions in the gaseous form, you have to give this much energy, 788 kilojoule of per mole. But the trick here, it's impossible to determine this lattice enthalpy directly by experiment. So what we do is, we use an indirect way and we use something called Born-Hibbert cycle to find this uh, lattice enthalpy. Because it's almost impossible to do it experimentally to break this uh, NaCl 
into Na plus N C L minus I and also find the energy required. That's almost impossible. So we use born Haber cycle and we'll discuss the born Haber cycle now. Let's do for sodium chloride. See for us the challenge here is was to get NaCl2, Na plus plus Cl. So we'll start with this, this place. The first thing we'll do is we have this NS uh, solid and uh, I have my chlorine gas. The first thing that is required is the sublimation of sodium. We want to convert this into gas state. So what we need is sublimation of, sublimation enthalpy of sodium. So from solid it became gas. So I have sodium and chlorine both in gas. Now I have to ionize this guy. I have to pick, I have to make it Na plus. So I need some ionization enthalpy to make it Na plus. So any gas will become Na plus here. And I need enthalpy of ionization for that. So I have Na plus, but I have my chlorine in molecular form. I have to make it into atom form now. Right? So I'll dissociate, I'll break the bond of chlorine to make it chlorine atoms. So half Cl2 will become Cl. So the bond is broken. So I have sodium ion and chlorine gas. But I have to make it Cl minus. So what I do is I take out one electron from or put one electron to chlorine. Electron gain by chlorine. So this becomes Cl minus. From Cl it becomes Cl minus. So now I have Na plus and Cl minus. Now I have Na plus and Cl minus. Then immediately the lattice thing will come and it will form NaCl. So the lattice energy is here. And enter what I am doing. I am forming NaCl. Correct. And I also know how to form NaCl directly. So I don't know this value. But I know all these values. So I know you, you reach from here to here, you get, you have to uh, spend, you have to, you will get 411.2 kJ of energy or you reach from here to here to here. This is all same, right? You see, you reach from here to here is same, you reach from here to here is same. So this minus 4112 is nothing but 102 plus 4956 plus 121 plus minus 3486 plus this x. Let this be x. And both are equal. With that we can get the value of x. Correct. That's what you want, right? NaCl2, Na plus Cl minus. So we'll get the value of this. Let me do it once again. We'll start with here with this step. We'll have this sodium. We'll make sodium as sodium gas. I have sodium gas. I'll ionize this sodium to Na plus. I have sodium plus now, but I have chlorine in the molecule form. I'll make it to atom form. Now I do make it Cl minus. So I'll give an electron to it to make it Cl minus. Now I have Na plus and Cl minus both. I want to make it NaCl. So the lattice thing comes here, right? Because I told the lattice is nothing but uh, you have NaCl, you break it to Na plus and Cl minus ion, or you have Na plus and Cl minus ion, you uh, bring them together, it will release energy to form NaCl lattice. So here we have Na plus and Cl minus and it will release energy, but what, how much energy it will release, we don't know. We are not able to calculate that. We'll just keep it like that only. We'll, but, but this is easy to find. We have, we can get NaCl directly by using this reaction Na uh, solid plus half Cl to gas. We can get the enthalpy of formation of this NaCl. So from this we'll, we will be able to find the enthalpy of, that is enthalpy of H. Right? Because this value minus because this value, if you see minus four one one two four one point two actually minus four one one point two, this will be equal to this whole chain because from here you re, you are reading the same place and I see either you go from this path, this path's all same, right? We told it's all state function, so this is path one. Enthalpy, the part two enthalpy will also be same. The part two enthalpy will be what? U 108.4 plus 
find this value this you can find using experiment or you try with the next approach you have this uh, lithium solid you make it a lithium gas and you calculate the uh, enthalpy and then you have uh, of sublimation and then you have gas from gas you make li to li plus you find the enthalpy of ionization then you have uh, this fluorine gas you make it to molecule you find the uh, enthalpy here, right? The bond enthalpy because the fluorine bonds are broken. Now you have this fluorine gas. I have to make it F minus. You uh, measure this electron gain enthalpy, and then this is something which is X. We don't know. And then you you have these values. You have these values, and we need the value of X. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to. Watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.